Embu Kembu, Nata Tanzambi Yamazulu, Kim Fumo Kyaku Isa, Glory to the Most High Yapua, Yahweh, Tatanzambi Yamazulu, Bayete and Kosi, Bayete. And today I want to say uh, greetings and Siemi to all the Banabetu who are scattered across the earth, the four corners as we are nearing this time of uh, our deliverance, the Most High is moving forward in a rapid way, as we can also see the world is doing the same thing. Um, I'm blessed the Most High have been able to get a new, tap, a new laptop finally came in. Um, so there's only one, I don't know, there's a discrepancy where the battery is not charging, I don't know why. So hopefully that doesn't cut out there earlier. So let's see what happens there. All right, so this, I want us first to give honor to all those who are working in this Bantu truth. There are many names. I'm going to honor them. You know, you know like Chiba Malonga, Brother Yanata, Mikel Masa, Pastor Mello, um, Kefa, and many others. I want to give gratitude for those of us. I want to give gratitude. I want to also, but especially I want to praise the Most High for what he's doing through his lineage from all the way from Adama to now. Okay, so my message for today, and before I begin my prayer, is going to be not only how Satan has deceived the whole world, not only has Satan deceived the whole world, but he has, um, blinded many to the truth of the Most High, okay? Kimbo Kimbo, Metatanzambi Yamazulu. Real quick, I'm gonna pray. Tatanzambi Yamazulu, Bayete and Kosiyami. Father, we come before you today with a message that is going to be a very groundbreaking message that's gonna shake the many people's foundations of faith if they choose to believe this message, people are going to come to understand the many things that are happening. If they choose to listen, people are going to have a better uh, comprehension of why we're going through the things that we're going through in this world and a better real recollection of who we are. Most high, yeah, I, I give you honor and glory in all things for the revelations that you give. Now you know this is the time. We're coming out with secrets. We realize that we are the spirits of our ancestors like Daniel, Isaiah, Elia, Masa, um, Abana, um, Noah, Shem, Siemi, uh, Seth, Anoka, and many of the Mecca and many more. Methuselah, Tatanzambi, we thank you for the many blessings that you give and all you do. In the mighty name of Kuswa Kongo, Yahweh Bene Yahweh, Yisaya Kongo, Ingeta Haleu. Okay. This is gonna be a bomb of a message. Uh, even with some of the things I've been written to Pastor Mello and others, um, thanks to Brother Mikhail Massa and his awakenings that he's doing, he has now revealed some major secrets that I'm sure many are gonna be controversial with. But the problem is many of them do not realize what I'm about to tell them, how Satan has deceived the whole world. First and foremost, I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to get into this here. This is going to tell you why uh, science, why white people have an issue with saying that, or you tell them that they don't come from Adama the way they think they do. They are the one, that's why they, start, they took out the book of Enoch. Let's see, let me go into it, the scripture here. I'm gonna first start off with this scripture. Revelations 12 and nine, very famous scripture. It's gonna go into a lot of detail. I'm gonna go into a lot of detail. I'm gonna bring some truth out. I'm gonna talk about some scriptures many people don't make aware of. I'm gonna show you why many people can't accept these scriptures and then why they wanna ignore them and leave their pastors. All right, 12 and nine. 
And the great dragon was thrown out of that serpent of old called the devil and Satan, who leads all the world astray. He was thrown to the earth and his messages were thrown out with him. Why was Lucifer thrown down? Many will say, they go back to Isaiah 13, Isaiah 13, and they will say, oh, it's because he wanted to be like the Most High. This is the, this is the Christianity deception. Okay, this is not what really happened. And I'm gonna to try to pull up the scripture that tells you why he got kicked out. If I can get it pulled up here and I'm gonna tell you, this is exactly why they don't wanna teach. They call certain things Gnostic doctrines. Not everything was a Gnostic doctrine. That's a falsehood. Then they made up some of that stuff so they would throw off people. Yes, there were different religious beliefs at the time. All right, so here it says, uh, Isaiah. 14, it says, 13, 12, 14, 12, how you have fallen from the Zulu, oh, halal, and uh, they'll say Iblis from Islam, they'll say Shatani for us, son of the morning, you have been cut down to the ground, you are laid low, you who laid low the Gentiles, I'm going to tell you how he laid low the Gentiles, all right. I'm going to go, let's see, I wanted to put, let me. All right, this is second Esdras, six and 56. This is going to prove to you once and for all that the Most High does not see everybody the same way. And how Satan has deceived people to think that he does. Okay. I don't know why my, my message is lagging. I hope it's not going to lag in the future, but I'm having issues now. It's weird. All right. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, Thou hast said that they are nothing, but but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Meaning that there these other people that come from Adam are basically nothing to him. Okay, so let's get into it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, this is going to shock a lot of people. Like the most I said, this is not about hurting people's feelings. This is about getting the truth out there. This is about getting the reality of the fact that you think you are who you think you are and you are being deceived. And I'm going to start with this scripture right here as far as why the devil was kicked out of heaven. I should have pulled it up sooner. This is called the Gospel of Bartholomew. Yahweh, Kimball, I'm mixing as I'm doing this. Yahweh, come on. Yeah, you can tell when you're starting to do some stuff these demons don't like to hear because they start lagging you. It's people who understand, man, the fallen angels can be in the, on the internet. That's one of the deceptions. People say, ah, I never seen them. I don't know. You playing these games with demons in it, that's the fallen angels. You playing these games with wicked stuff going on, that's the fallen angels. They doing that. That's why people say, be careful what you uh let your kids watch. Because you are you are actually telepathing demons. This is why you can't get kids to get off the get off their games. Why they get addicted. But see, when you start talking about them, and it's like, oh, no, you can't tell nobody this, especially the Banabitu. Come on. All right. Let's get into this scripture. I'm going to pull it up. This is the real reason why Satan was kicked out of the heavens, and he never went with him and why he can't come back. Right. Let's go. 
Now you see it's the Gnosis, the Gnostic doctrine. He had them label it that way so that because he's spilling his guts to the disciples. Oh, this thing is lagging. Yeah, they're trying to stop it. I already knew this was going to happen. All right, let's go down to... Let's see where he starts. This is, they're going, they're going down to hell. The Messiah took him down. This is after he, now this, this is when people are talking about what was he doing for the 40 days before he ascended. This is one of the things he was doing before he ascended. He was taking the disciples to see Beliar, Beliar. Let's see. So this is where he says, okay, first he's gonna tell him how he got the name Satan, which he goes by different names. So he's gonna say, All right, so this is why he got kicked. First, he said, uh, this is what going to tell me, he says, uh, this is Bartholomew saying, and Belial answered and said, if thou wilt know my name, at the first, it was called Satana El, which, you know, they say it's Azazel, it's, um, there's a, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, got, they tried to put, um, not Gabriel, but um, uh, Gadriel was the one that they say in the book of Enoch trick Eve. Okay, so you get in here, he says, my name is Satana El. He was interrupted, he was, which is, it was, is interpreted as messenger, messenger of Tatanzambio, the most high, messenger of God. Now, but when I rejected the image, hey, hey let me tell you something, because I'm gonna get into where, why it's important to understand where white people come from and the why, they, why you have to be careful, why they have to understand they were never the top. The most high flipped it. He's about to flip it back. Okay. Oh, man. Hurt. He said, well, when I rejected the image of the most high, my name was called Satanus. And this that is the angel that keepeth hell, Tartarus. All right. So the Most High made a spot for him. He, he decided he rejected. And this is what happened. So he says, I swear unto thee by the power of the glory of the Matanzan, that even if I would hide. So he's telling him, reveal unto me all things and hide nothing. He says, and he said unto him, I swear unto thee by the power of the glory of the Most High, that even if I would hide, I, I cannot, for it is near that I would, for he that is near, that would convict me. So he's saying Isaiah won't even let him lie. He's standing right there talking to him. Okay. So he that is the fear that he has of the of, of Isaiah Kong. Okay. That we call the world calls Jesus Christ, Yesu Christu. We know he's a Chuluba, Banabetu, for those that know the truth. He's one of us, the Mukongo. And I'm gonna get into that. Um, thanks to Brother Janata uh, who did that video that the mockery that Adama, and as I learned now, Adam and Eve were Mukongo. Everything was Mukongo until this happened. Okay. Everything was Mukongo until this happened. And this is where it all started. And I'm going to tell you what's happening here. Because the devil knew at this point, these fallen angels knew they were going to be judged at the end of time. Their role was to keep that from happening. So they needed two things to happen after this fall. Keep the son of man or the Ben on Zombie from being born that was promised to Adama, which they failed. Then afterwards, keep the chosen people of the Most High from judging us, which is now going to be their last failure because it's now going to flip. This is what this is where we're in now. We're at the end time of them trying to stop this, which is why they continue their lies, even though they've been exposed. This is what the secret societies are helping them do. And they don't even understand. 
they're they've tricked them to do the secret society have been tricked to do so many things for these fallen angels even listen to satan's lies about how he was the good son and jesus isaiah was the bad son and so remember he reject now he rejected the image of the most high and we know that the image of the most high is black you can prove this scientifically that the black skin and i even talked to a white lady she blonde hair blue eyes she said you know but then you listen to these preachers that want to sit there and argue with you. Go, go talk to a scientist. They know that the, the black dominant gene, the black black skin is the dominant gene. You cannot. Even uh, Farrakhan said this about this. You cannot get black from white. You can only get white from black. And I'm going to show you how this was done. This is going. They they have this. Okay. All right. So it says. For if I were able, I would be to have I have destroyed. He said, For if I were able, I would have destroyed you like one of them that were before you. So the point is, without so he's trying to tell you, without the true power of Desire and the most high, he can destroy you. And this is what I'm trying to tell people. But he has to maintain a certain hidden agenda because he knows that. He can't destroy the the, he, the most high is the only one that can give the order to destroy. He knows that. That's why he said, I can't do it on my own. For indeed I was formed the first angel. So that makes him, and they even put this in a mockery of a show that I told you about before. The uh the, the uh what do you call it? Uh the flash. Okay, and they took that that whole series where they were doing all those 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 um all these uh earth they were actually telling some real truth about the end of the world and these and these other and these different earths and these different things there are realms okay that they open up or they have different versions of yourself if you don't understand this is how they can see the most i can see what you're going to do before you do because it's an interpretation of how he sees all the different options and then he's going to know the option you're going to go do the do just right they call these different earths realms okay it's the way they see the world they can see they're different they, it's just it's kind of like how you play out the scenarios in your head of what this person is going to do and you know then the right one that's going to happen ahead of time that's what that's what you're seeing what they call the multiverse or whatever they want to call it okay the very the various different versions of yourself that makes up the real you that they see so that it's like okay, I, I see, I know exactly how he's going to do this because I've already seen the other uh, the other alternatives. Okay, but I ain't going to he, he going to do this one right here. This is what this is how the fallen angels play out the scenarios and how they can trick you ahead of time. Okay, this is why they do that. For indeed, I was formed the first angel when the Most High made the heavens. He took a handful of fire and formed me first. Uh, Michaeli, second. Uh, let's see. For he had his son, let's see. Here's a, for he had his son before the heavens and the earth were formed. So this is what he's saying. Isaiah was already there. Okay. We now know this. Okay. Formed and he created all things. His son spake a word. The word. This is why we try to tell y'all. In the beginning was the word, the word was with the most high, and the word was most the high, most high. So the most high speaking, like we talk about, he speaks the first time, and the son spake spoke too. Hello. The son was this I was saying, the son was with him speaking. So the most high, he was always there. So that we always were created by the will of the son and the consent of the father. Hello. The will of the son and the consent of the father. But it's the most high still his will, though. Okay. So he, so basically, you understand the authority was given to the son before all this happened. And you'll even see the Messiah. He, he, he you know, people only recognize he speaks in the Old Testament. He does. Okay. This is why we try to tell y'all there's a lot of things you don't understand about how the deception is done. Okay. I say first, Michael, the captain, the chief captain of the host, 
Gabriel third, Uriel fourth, Raphael. Now we know Raphael is what? The angel of healing. Nathaniel sixth, and the angels of whom I cannot tell the names. So basically, even he, the most high said, you can only say, that's why you have to pray and fast and know your angel, like Master said. Because he can't even tell them. He, the Messiah didn't even give him permission to know these names because they have different roles, okay? So he's saying, let's see, they were, um, for they are the rod bearers, lictors of the Most High. Okay, so he says that these angels right here, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, and if I was 6,000 angels, he says, Michael, the honor of the power Third, Raphael, fourth, Gabriel, even another seven. Raphael, third, Gabriel, fourth, Uriel, fifth, Zazael, sixth, and other six. For they are the rod bearers of the Most High. And they smite me with their rods and pursue me seven times in the night and even seven times in the day and leave not all at all and break in pieces all my power. So what are they trying to tell you? I told you all, man, the, you, the devil don't have power. Unless you give it to him, because these, this is what you make these angels. I'm learning now. We make these angels upset when we allow him to bypass this. Say, break. See, he says these are the twelve angels which stand before the throne of the Most High. These are the angels that were first formed. Okay, now why is this important? Because when these jokers, when they show up, that's it. Okay, these are the ones that's going to be with the home Messiah with us and others, the sons of the Most High, the true, all of us who can be sons, like Masa was saying. When the world comes to an end, this is going to be it right here. Now, and after them were formed all the angels in the first heaven. Now, nah. In the first heaven are a hundred myriads, in the second, a, a, a hundred myriads, in the third, a hundred myriads, and on the fourth, a hundred myriads, in the fifth, hundred myriads, in the sixth, and in the seventh, and in the and also the heavens is a firmament. It is the firmament. So, wherein there are powers of which work upon men. So, again, heaven is stacked. This is why they have to create this concept of outer space to lie to you. Because they know this because it's a contained environment. The most high heavens, boom, boom, boom. It stands, he, he's on top of this. If you ever read Dante's Inferno, Satan mirrored it and went all the way down with his levels and he's on the bottom. But he tries to make himself be above the most high so he, he, he uh, in the book of Isaiah. Okay. Now, he's going to tell him So he's going over in this book, he tells you who, how, this is why I don't believe in the weather. Because he starts telling you the angel there's a south called Kirkutha, and he, they break in fairness and he shake not the earth. So, this, when, man, when the Most High break loose, Kirkutha going to shake the earth. Okay, all these, everything's about to go down. This is and they and see the problem is I try to tell people you, you see these UFOs or whatever these are the the, the devil got they clipped their wings where are you flying you got chariots this is who they they, they got the, they had a base here in Colorado they work with these fallen they've been doing this a long time people this is why I'm gonna tell you how the Gentiles got to see you so he's talking about the winds the four winds let me talk about hold back the four winds of Revelation okay this is they control these winds. This is why Masa was saying, when you have the power of the Messiah, you control these angels. You can walk on the, the water. He talked to him, he called him uh, Mir, 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 Meriwata. Okay, these, these beings, this is why I say, we battle not against flesh and blood principalities. You have all of these Malakis. Okay, everything is Malakis. Everything is Malakis. That's why I try to tell people, stop letting these people lie to you about science. Science is not true. They, they stole, I'm going to show you how they stole a lot of stuff from the Bantu and the Congos. And that started even with Cain, who fell. He passed knowledge to his sons, and they started to make, mess the earth up. And Tubal Cain was the one who built all the cities and other stuff, which is what they lose now, his knowledge to build the cities now, which people don't know about. 
And these fallen angels provide, just like in the book of Enoch, they gave you the way to do things. They taught us how to do things, which the most High wasn't okay with. Because if you remember when Adam and Eve was born, and I'm going to tell you something that's, that's, a, that's a real key to this. Why were they naked? Because they didn't he needed nothing. They had everything they wanted. But they had no need of nothing. The most High supplied everything. The, wind, the weather was perfect, so they didn't even need to worry about clothes. They didn't even know they were naked, right? Here's the thing, and this is what happened. I'm going to get to it right here. Hopefully, he comes to the part. I'll get back to some of this here because he tells you, a lot of you people think they could sin. And like, I'm sorry, this is going to be pretty long because I want to get a lot of it in depth. I'm going to try to stay on task my best. But I'm trying to show you this is a whole myriad of ways the devil has deceived us and you don't pay attention. Okay, this is why a lot of people say, well, he don't exist. I don't think so. Because the problem is the Gentiles, they knew him as something different. And I'm going to tell you how you can, I'm going to tell you why they can never be equal to us, even though they think so. Okay, because like I just read that scripture that says second Ezra, the others from Adam are like spittle. That's why the salvation has to come through the Bantus, but they hide this because we are the only ones that have the law, the Tula in our hearts. This is why you have the other people with the Torah doing whatever they want, less lawlessness, because they don't have the law in their heart. They think they, they, they think they did, but they don't because they are Gentiles. Gentiles will never have the, if you're born a Gentile, you never have the law in your heart. That's why you can follow the things that you're told and don't think. But Bantus are like, wait, whoa, that don't, that don't fly right. When you, when you hear people say stuff, it's like, no, that don't fly right with me. I have an issue with that. Yeah, because you have the law in your heart. So you sit there and say, oh, this is why you don't always go along with what other people do. You have to be forced into it. But because of the fact that we got tricked into so many things, this is what's going to happen. This is what causes us to lose our, our heritage and people are stealing it from us. Okay. This is, I'm going to get into that. This is why it was necessary for a sudden to even set up a false awakening. Now, I'm like I said, I was never a Hebrew Israelite. Never. The Most High woke me straight up out of church. I learned some things about the Hebrew Israelite, but he, the Most High started with me with Africa from the beginning. I got off track because, again, when you fast, Satan comes to you first. You see, you start hearing different things. You start listening to different things. And you get caught up in certain things. You start to believe certain things, but there's there's truth in a lot of things. But you got to eat the meat and spit out the bones, like you said. I didn't do enough good a job um, until the most I finally said, "Look," and I'm gonna tell you the book that woke me up. When they started talking about Simon Toko, I, I there's a brother who wrote a book about him. That he was it, it talked about the connection with the Anakim. So a lot of these people, I'm gonna show you the Anunnaki aligned to you. Okay, they did not create black people. They're giving you stories because the bottom line is they know who their fa their, their father is. It's going to tell you, it's going to show. I just ordered the book. I, I do when I read it, I'll bring you some stuff about it. Um, but I'm going to tell you, everybody says, well, I'm all about the scripts. I'm all about the scripts. I'm all about the scripts. There's a reason why the devil has you thinking that way. Like the Banu Beitu said, we, the most high is in the Bible, but the Bible is not the most high. You're putting them in the, they, he want, Satan wanted you to put the most high in a box so that you can't see the bigger picture of what he did. Okay. This is the thing we got to understand is in this awakening, there, there are, our history, our real history has been put into books. This is why they said, if, if you want to, to hide something from a black man, put it in a book. The reason why they said that is because they took our history and they hid it in books. Because you're gonna make you, they're gonna program you to L. It's all scriptures, all scriptures, all scripture. That was the whole intent. Where they put they hid stuff in books that's that's bound to spirituality. That is like, oh, wait a minute. Because the devil knew that you're gonna wake up eventually and you weren't gonna have the whole information. So it's easier to have an awakening that contradicted the trial of verse 12. Because we put Whitey up here first, that was embedded, okay? And I'm going to tell you how long that's been embedded. It ain't just start. It's been, they, they did some things in Africa, but even before that, okay, it was, it's, it's, I'm going to tell you why. Uh, let's see. 
Now, I remember we went over these, uh, 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 brother, yeah, not to went over these, but I told him, I said, the only problem is South America was attached to Africa when Adam and Eve were created. So it has to be a wider area. I really think the Garden of Eden was split between the two continents. That's why they, they threw us, they sent most of us over there. But the majority of it is in Congo. Let's see. Uh, let's see. One second. I'm trying to get to where he told you why he got kicked out. Uh, it's further back up here. Sorry. He's going to tell you the real reason. Okay, so here it goes. He says, but suffer, the devil says, suffer me, and I will tell you how I was cast down into this place and how the Most High did make man. Okay. This is reason why they don't want you to know this, these fallen angels, because this is why they gave you break Genesis. Their Bible is a fabric, is, is a, is a, combination of several books this book genesis this book is part of it um they took enoch they took uh the first book of adam and eve they did all these uh the the um we call the other one um the jubilee they took all these books and combined them into the book of genesis and gave you a certain way to look at it so that you don't get the full picture. Okay, this is, I'm trying to tell people, Christianity is deceived. And I'm gonna tell you how. So much, it's so, it's, it's so much, man. I, I, I wish I had seen this sooner, I really do, but the Most High woke me up just in time. I appreciate him. All right, so he said, I was going to and fro in the world. Does that sound familiar? Now, remember, at this time, he wasn't falling yet, though. So he was helping with the creation. The angels do a lot of, when he speaks, let me get a clear picture. When the Most High speak and something is created, he don't, his word, think, the angels do the work. When he created the angels, after he spared the angels, when it came to the earth, they play a role in getting the earth ready. Okay. I was going to and fro in the world, the Toto, and the Mosai said unto Mikael, bring me a clod. So Mikael, this is why Mikael plays a, a key role in this. Bring me a clod from the four corners of the earth and water out of the four rivers of paradise. Then when Mikael brought him, the Mosai formed Adam. Now, <laughs> We know he was put in Africa and the dust of Africa, but you have to remember, people don't understand the earth has red dirt everywhere. Okay, it has red dirt everywhere. There's red dirt here in Colorado, there's red dirt, there's the reddest clay, it's everywhere. Okay, this goes to show you it was one continent, okay, at this time. So he formed out in the region of the east, shaped the cloud of which was shapeless and stretched the sinews and veins and established it with joints. He, and, and he worshiped him himself for his own sake because he was in the image of the most high. Therefore, he worshiped him. Boy, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, there's a reason why they don't want you to know this. Why he got so mad when Adama, I'm gonna show you why he got so mad. Adama was in his own image. So what does that make him? Like the most high, like his son, like Masa said. So he this is he, this is why he put him above the angels. And now this this is what happened. 
And when it came for the ends of the earth, Michael said, worship thou the image of the Most High, which he has made according to his likeness. But I said, I am fire of fire. I was the first angel form, which means he was the brother. This is why the Masons love that number four. I'm going to tell you this why. He was the brother of Isaiah. So he was number four. You had the, you had the Most High. You had the Isaiah. You had the Mwanda. And then here, here come Satani. Satana, okay? He's number four. Now, they even, like I said, it was in that show. He talked about it. He said, my brother that I hate so much, that caused so much problem. He was talking to the black dude when he said it in that show. I was, Go look at the episode where it says Planet 666. Listen to what he says. And the guy that plays Lucifer, you're going to be, you're going to trip. You're going to trip when you hear him say what he's going to say. Okay. He tells you the truth right there. People want to say the most high is white. No, this is what happened. I was the first, it said, it said, uh, I was the first, and, and shall I worship clan matter? So he's like, all right, I'm, this is why I try to tell you, if you are prideful, this is your spirit right here. If you are living in pride, you are attached to the first angel 100%. Because why? He said, I'm, he's boasting. What do I, who am I? I'm fire. He's clay. Why am I going to bear that battle on before him? Mikael said, worship lest the most high be wroth with thee. But here, now, <laughs> now, here's the problem. The most high will not be wroth with me, but I will set my throne. Now he says, I will set my throne over against his throne and I will be as he is. Now, now, He's telling me I'm going to be above the most high. This is where Isaiah gets what he says. He's fulfilling. He's telling you this. Okay. So he said, I, he has now said, I am, because I'm not going to worship this image, I'm going to make myself like the most high. That started it. Y'all better pay attention. This is why they didn't want you to read this scripture, this book, because this would have told you a lot of things about how Satan deceives so many and why you don't understand how messed up this world is. And why you can't tell the Gentiles nothing. I'll get into that in a minute. All right. Now, then the Most High was, so he says there, then the Most High wroth with me, cast me down, having commanded the windows of heaven to be open. And when I was cast down, he asked also the 600 that were under me. This is a third of heaven now at the time. The 600 that were under me, if they would worship, but they said, like as, as I have seen, the first and do neither will we worship him that is less than ourselves. Then there were then were the 600 also cast down with me. And it was actually more than that because they, they had another pack going on. And when we cast, and remember the most I said in uh, Enoch that when, when the stars are the angels and they don't obey him, he cast them down. Remember that. Okay. And when we were cast down to the earth, see, that's why I try to tell you, they tell you stars are dust and all that. This is a lie. They're the Malekis. When they when you see this fallen star, you're kicking them out for disobedience because you still have to obey the most high. So who do you think you go with? Okay. People don't understand. This is the big deception that we're doing. When I was cast down, he asked also the 600 that were with me if they were worshiped. So he said, and when we were cast down on the earth, we were senseless for 40 years. So he knocked, man, he fell so hard, they knocked him out. Knocked him out. This is why you're going to get, this is going to explain to you, okay? All right. So Adam and Eve are in the garden, having a good old time. So for 40 years, these angels are knocked out senseless. They, they, they're, not even, they're not even aware that they're that they down. So this, when he wakes up, so he's going to tell you, this is how it started. This is how, this is how they got tempted. He said, I was knocked out. And I woke my son, South son. This is the, the false Messiah, his spirit. This is the spirit that's going to go into Cain. This is the spirit that's going to go into Tammuz and, and Nimrod. 
okay, and make you think that he is the son of the most high, a son of the most high, and took him counsel, I might deceive the man in his account, and I was cast out of the heavens. See, y'all don't understand, boy. He had a son already. And thus did I contrive it. I took a vial in, in my hand and scraped the sweat off my breast. And the hair, this is why you're going to sit there and say, how is it so easy for him to deceive Eve after the Most High said, you know, after fruit you shall not eat? This is what he did. He messed the water up that they were drinking out of. And he, he drank it. And it came and desire came upon her. For if she had not drunk the water, I would not have been able to deceive her. So listen. They're saying, how could, the most, how could she disobey the Most High? He was already conniving against it. He knew if I didn't do something to change her way she think, she ain't going to be deceived. So he had already come up with a way okay, to get her to see. Now, here's the problem. Okay, This is how she was able, when the serpent came, this is why and Bartholomew came, fell at the beginning, and began to weep tears. Thus says, Abba, Father, thou art past finding us, finding out about us. Word of the Father, Congo, whom the seven heaven, heavens hardly contain, who, who, but who were pleased to be contained easily, and without pain within the body of the virgin, whom the virgin knew or that she bear. Thou be, though thou be, thou hast ordained all things, thou givest that which we need that are entreated. See, now, I'm telling you, people, this is how Satan has deceived so many world, the whole world. So now, when the serpent come, she drinking this water. Okay, now her 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 awareness is is kind of tainted. Here's the problem, though. We still have a choice. And this is why I try to tell people even now in the stuff that we, I said the devil's been contaminating us from the beginning because he knew that he got to get rid of this man. Okay. So here's the thing the most I showed me. What really got Adam and Eve kicked out of the garden? The disobedience? Okay, let's talk about it. One of the things that Most High has always taught us about his time, and he said he, he wishes the repentance rather than the punishment. That's in the scriptures. He wishes the repentance rather than the punishment. Okay, let's, let's go to that scripture. Now, repentance. Rather, oh, oops, I can't, it's not W. Uh, repentance rather than the punishment. And I, I know I didn't spell repentance right. So let's go here. So we go to of course it's not in there. <sighs> Let's go. Scripture. I know people are screaming it out. Hey. Matthew four, Matthew Matthew four seventeen. Let's go there first. Now remember he's telling people this is why you don't have condemnation. And this is the secret to a lot of things.
Matthew 4, verse 17. So it says, from the time the Isaiah began to proclaim, and he said, repent, for the reign of the Zulu is drawn near. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I hate when you put when you put it in. You know it says that, and they won't give it to you the exact verse. Well, it says the Most High desire the re the repentance rather than the punishment. We all know the scripture I'm talking about. Um. So what happened with Adam and Eve? Let's see. So he talks about repent, okay. So when he says in Acts, where the Most High is granted to the Gentiles also to repent and lead to life, but that's through who? Yakuba. See, that's, what, that's the deception. See, the most high is patient, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. So here's what happened, okay? Adam and Eve went and took the, um, the, the fruit, okay? And he said to them, he desires the repentance rather than the punishment. The problem is when he went and asked them, did you, what did I, I see? He said, who told you you were naked? Oh, oh, he immediately started to say, the woman that you made gave something to me. Then she turned around and said, no, 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 no. The, the snake gave me the fruit. Okay, so, he, so think about it like this. You are a parent. You have children. Okay. What is the what is the severity of the punishment going to be? If your children confess that they made a mistake, okay, then you if you like the most high, okay, you have to forgive. Okay. Okay, I got you. You made a mistake. Now you not. I, I mean, you still got to pay a price, but it won't be the level of what you would expect. Is if you lied and said I didn't do it, and you know they did it. So this is the anger because, like I just showed you, they were made in the Most High's image. Okay, especially Adama. They bowed down to him because he was in the image of the Most High. Okay. Satan said, I'm not going to bow down. So he want to make sure that he ruins this whole thing. Okay. After he got kicked out. So now what has a tendency to happen is what people forget. He's going to keep plotting and conniving and, and doing all kind of stuff. So of course he sends his sons into the, into the cane. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Cain was wicked from the start. People don't understand it. The Bible talks about it. Cain was looking from the start. People don't realize it. And his and he, when he killed his brother, that was the that was the son of of Satan, causing him to do that. So he became the first Antichrist when he did that. When he came, and again, what happened with him? The Most High came to him and said, "Where is your brother? I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? A lie." He knows exactly where his brother is. That's why the Most High cursed him. So here's what I'm trying to tell you. When you do not confess, the Most High will pass a judgment upon you when you commit a sin and you think you just go along and keep moving like nothing happened. When the Most High confronts you with that sin, 
and you don't think you did nothing wrong, you're going to get curses. And this is what's happening through all the generation of the, of the world, especially to those who were never his. Okay, let me get into that. Now, <laughs> Satan, he deceived the whole world this way. First, the Most High made a promise he would send his son to undo the sin, to give the repentance that he didn't do. Because he didn't repent. So now he needs someone to repent for him. That's why he was given that promise. Because he didn't repent. So he was cursed. Okay. Well, Satan's like, ah, oh, I'm not going to give, I don't want none of these men, none of these people to have that opportunity. None. So, of course, there's a book called The Rise of the Anakim. In this book, it talks about a pact of Satan. Now, I'm going to show you where that pact took place <laughs> with his fallen angels. And they, and they worship it even in Hollywood, Mount Hermon. So you think that he was just on Mount Hermon talking about having sex with the people? Mount Hermon. All right, so he got a pack going. All right, so he got Mount Herman. This is Hollywood's way of saluting this pack. And they cont and they, they continue it on today. You just don't know this. So this is Mount Herman. This is the 22 stars of who made the pack to start destroying humanity. Okay. Now, in this pack that they make in Hollywood glory, this is why I say Hollywood glorifying the pack. And the reason this is why most I said this is why Gentiles are going to remain in a state of 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 of, of um unawareness because of the fact that from the beginning. And even th this happened, even th th they were technically the descendant of Cain is like the Gentiles. Okay. So they carried this down the lineage from Cain. And that's why we say we come from Seth, you know, the lineage of Seth in the Bible. Not everybody, that's why he said the others that come from Adam are like, what? <laughs> okay. Not everybody's the same. Even after the, even, I'm going to tell you, they lied about some things that happened with the ark. That this is why they won't tell you about the, because Adam had already seen his whole lineage. The Most High took him, showed him what was going to happen. And he knew that we're going to be those who were not, that were going to be not of Adam and Eve. I mean, not, not of his um, pure lineage. Okay, he knew that there was going to be these children of the light. Well, who are the children of the light? Okay, Lucifer is the light there. So he, we see Satan has a son. He has children. They, this is what they, they, they call it, your Anunnaki, your uh, Nephilim. The Anunnaki are the children of the Nephilim. They actually got into, I'm, I'm going to show you what happened. This book. This brother talks about it. Uh, let's go to it. I just ordered it. I hope I can get it. Uh, where's the picture? And you're going to see in this picture, they shows him coming out the water. Same kind of way, just like Adama did when he had the leper skin after he got clothes put on him. The, the, uh, I think the king that was talking about it, the king of Embu, was talking about this. And he had on leper skin and he came out the water. And this is where we know our where this come from. Now, Nimrod, this is what happened. Okay, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. This is going to be the big deal. Babylonian tablets. Let's look at those. This is the Gentile religion from the beginning. So after what happened when Satan made everything so... Uh, 
so messed up. Okay, with to the, he he deceived everybody. Okay, this is this is not the Most High's language. This is alien. This is the this is the interaction with the Nephilim or the or the Anunnaki. They this is why. So here's why people say, well, how come there's so many different creations and there's different creations? No, because the Gentiles were not created the same way. They were not created the same way. Okay, this is why they have to come out of Christianity and say, oh yeah, everybody descended, we're all related to the same. No, no. That's why the Mosai, if you go to Jeremiah 51, he will tell you the harlot has children. Lamilia uh, 50. This is one of the reasons why the Mosai said do not mix with these people. Why do you think he said that? I'm going to show you. See, it says it right here because this is uh, Lamilia 50, verse 11. Because you were glad, because you rejoiced, you who plunder my inheritance. See, this even happened back then. Because you have grown fat like a heifer at threshing grain and your name's down, your mother shall be greatly ashamed. She who bore you shall be humiliated. And she's talk he's talking about Ishtar. Okay. The the Babylonians. Okay, this this is what happened. <laughs> there were those that came from Noah and his children, and there were those who came from the sons of the light. Lucifer, he had children. The An the Anunnaki, the uh, we call them the Nephilim, whatever you want to call it, through those seven. My wife called them the seven sisters. Okay, so he created these. They took these women up, and they had children. They made more. <laughs> okay, they made more after the flood. This is why in the book of Adam and Eve that he talked about, when he's, it's called the Apocalypse of Adam and Eve of Adam. He's warning Seth. He told him, this, do not mix with Cain's seed because they are tainted. Up until Jared, he followed this. Satan pretended to be somebody and he tricked one of, the, one of his offspring and they got mixed with Cain. This is when the whole world really got tore up. However, he kept that lineage into Noah pure. Yes, pure. So, when Noah came off the ark, <laughs> listen to this now. Why do you think, this is why when people want to say, oh, well, Ham, Cam, or you know, he, he created a homosexual. No. In our culture as Bantu, we know you don't ever call out someone's sin publicly. The Most High has said that in our teachings. We don't ever, you go to, when you have a problem with your brother, you go to him in secret. So, Ham, Ham, Cam, he saw his brother, his father naked from wine. Now, how did Noah become drunk? Demons. Demons. So, he was once again finding himself in a in a predicament where the wicked made him drink too much that he became naked a demon came caused him to curse his brother because what happened to he laughed at his father's nakedness and proclaimed it look at my father <laughs> this is what it means he didn't say i knew his father no what he did okay and they covered his shame he was he was he was naked and he was shamed and he said, once he heard what he knew what his, his his son had done, he cursed him. His son Canaan, at that time. Now, the problem again is repentance. When Cam and them were cursed, there was no he did not repent of what he did. So he got cursed again. So I, Noah had power to curse people. Okay, so he had the morning semi. Now, 
Japheth, as we know later on, his lineage got cursed because what happened was he was told to stay away from these demons, and he did not. This is why the descendants of the Ashkenazi Jews are the way they are. Now, <laughs> let me share with what happened. And Masa, he, he titled, he, he, he enlightened us on this, that the, that the white people do actually come because of the Most High, but it's not because he was blessing his seed, he was cursing them. So this is what happened. And in Islam, they know this, okay? I'm going to go to the tablets, and this is why that book, The Rise of the Anakim, talks about it. Where, and I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll, when I get it, I'll read it to you where it talks about where Yakuba, as they call him Yakub, we call him Yakuba, played a role in white people. This is, this is, but they, they got, because the Nation of Islam is still affiliated with the Freemasons. They don't tell the whole story, they just know that there's part of it that they know. Okay, this is why they call white people white devil. Okay, this is where it comes from. And devil doesn't mean, it comes from the word devil. Double is devil, devil. What it means is you are the double of the real. You are the clone. That's why they talk about technically you are the clone. And this is how they did it. So here's what it said. In the beliefs of the nation of Islam, Yaqub, sometimes called Yakub or you and we know Yakuba was a black scientist. So he science the word science comes from the alchemist. Both. Okay. So he knew the the most high people we always had, this is why I tell y'all, we always had the ability of understanding the way things operate, math, science, all this stuff. But there was an alteration done through Babylon to make you make the sun the center of this universe because of Nimrod, the sun god. And everything revolves around him. This is where you get the concept of the constellations. And the stars that he was worshiping, the fallen angels and star that, and, and, and the, that's why you give the, the, uh, the other planets a so-called fallen angels, okay? They, they made themselves look like planets. And the alchemists made you believe this is where you look up and read the stars and all that because like Masa said, is a star under each person, above each person, but that star is not always good. Okay. So now he says here, he lived about 6,600 years ago and he, he began the creation of the white race and the white people. Now, how did he do that? Let's go to this. Remember the Gentiles, their God has always been. Now remember what happened before and what happened before the flood, it happened again. This is why Anoka said, oh, my son looks like the angels. And also he, said he was hidden. There were children that looked like white people. Okay, even before the days of Noah. What happened? The Anunnaki or the, or the Nephilim took that tablet. Remember they this, remember how they said they began to sin against man and birds and beasts? The way they sin against the man is they changed the image. Because the most high, what has what Satan say? I'm not bowing down before this image. So he hated the image of the most high. So much he made it the opposite. All right. So the way it was done, the Emerald tablets. See, they say it's believed to have been discovered inside the Great Egyptian Pyramid. Lie. And the book and the Rise of the Anakim will tell you that. They were not discovered there, they got hidden. Our, our grandfather Yakuba hid these tablets. And that's in that book, the right. That's why I try to tell y'all. They put truth in a, in a book. The the uh the, the sad part about it is the Mormons, they're the ones that know this. See, the fallen angels, they tell. That's the most I said. The devil will give out certain portions of the truth and other things to other people. They taught this to the Mormons. They know this. That's why they don't, that's why their religion is really thoth. They just don't, they just don't tell you that. <laughs> okay. 
it's all those people. The the Gentiles, they always work, they never stop worshiping this fallen angel. God, oh, he's actually a hybrid. The Anunnaki or the Nephilim, the bot the, the Anunnaki are hybrids. So what happened? When they began to sin against birds and mammals and everything, they took these tablets and see they call it Hermes now. Our grandfather. I don't know why this thing isn't working. Our grandfather worked with this being to do what the Most High said. He wanted a curse upon humanity. Okay. This has always been the Gentiles' God. Always. Up until, that's why the Most High said, do not mix with these people. This is their God. And this symbol is still here in America. Okay, they just don't tell the Christians this because they don't want them to understand they are deceiving them. Since he, this is this is what Constantine worship right here. Okay, this is what got Solomon in trouble. When he would took other women, this is the magic of the Egyptians. This is the magic. The sorcerer, the sorcerer, okay, of all of the Gentiles, ancient Babylon. This is the Babylonian mysticism, okay? So what Satan did here, he knew, okay, there was a Messiah coming. So in the beginning, from, from when he did with Cain, was to mess up the bloodline so that Isaiah couldn't be born. He got it so he got it so intense. The flood had to happen. The most I was like, oh. see, because that's why he had to save Noah so that he could fulfill the promise to Adama. But everybody else was wicked. Okay, and now I'm gonna tell you something, and this is something I learned: these spirits from before can be used again. <laughs> okay. So don't let Christian keep telling you there's no necromancy. It's a lie. Even it's even in the Bible when the Messiah shows you that our ancestors never die. When they have when you have eternal life, you never die. Spiritually, okay, you, you may, your physical body may go somewhere, but you can still come around and help people out spiritually. That's what Master was talking about. And I'll, that's what people understand. This is what this is how we've been putting the most high in a box. He can choose to use whatever he pleases to help you get to the right way, including your ancestors, Yakuba. Of Yakuba, Yusolele, Adama, any one of them that has that have been given eternal life can help you, okay? Satan don't want you to know that because the bottom line is that tells you that then the Gentiles can't be the people because they, they have a different spirituality, total different. That's why they mixed it. When that's why the most when Yesiah came and said, Do not teach this to the Gentiles, but go to my lost house of Israel first. Why? Because he knew the God of the Gentiles was Lucifer. Satan is always this. Okay. And the only way they can get away from this is to believe in us. But we had not, we don't mix with them, we just lead them. That's what the most high was like. That's our whole purpose of Yisraeli from the beginning. Okay. Now, uh, most of us say I call nations to rise and fall. This is how this is how Satan laid low the Gentiles. Because he was always their God. And that has not that has not changed. They have made you believe he's not your God by thinking that you have become the most high's chosen. Because I'm on the most high did make us jealous and give certain things to the Gentile spirituality, but that was not to be used to make you the bride, which is what happened. It was meant to teach us to come back to him. The seven churches. Through our and we were the we were the leaders of those churches. Okay, this is where Simon Toko, and even in Eliza and Anakin, Simon Toko and Kamban was in that book. Okay. The brother who wrote is a bantu. I have to I'll show you. I'm Kong in my opinion. So he knows these things. So what happened is, you see here, 
this is what they believed in all this time. This is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but truth. As, as, as below, so above. That is a Luciferian concept. This is why the Most High said, what you let loose on the earth will be let loose in the heavens. That's why you have to be careful what you do. Okay, with this knowledge alone, you may work miracles. So Satan can deceive you with miracles. And since all things exist and emanate from the one who is the ultimate cause, who is that? So all things were born after the kind from this one. The sun is the father, the moon is the mother. This is Luciferian. This is why when uh, uh, this is what caused these people. What happened was, this is what caused us to start making idols, like Nimrod was doing, worshiping idols. Okay. The wind is carried in its belly. Earth is its nurse and its guardian. It is the father of all things. Now, this father they're talking about is not the most high. Here on earth is its strength, its power remain one undivided. Earth must be separated from fire, the subtle from the dense, generally with the unremitting care. So you got to realize this is all demonic. They just don't know that. From the beginning, this is not what this is. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Remember, the Most High gave us a set of laws through tablets. This is the tablets before, okay, to make the Gentiles lie low. This is the esoteric, as they call it, knowledge, hidden knowledge, which we now know the Most High also has his hidden knowledge. That's why he hid the law in our hearts because he knew these people did not have the law that started to worship these beings. And this is what caused this to happen. We started, so he, so Yokuba was with, let's see, where is he? Was with this alchemist. This is what's gonna cause the whole um, problem with why we got Right. What happened? Why did why do you have the the argument that the spiritual argument, the spiritual argument that's going on with um, Joseph? Why the brothers started to hate him? Why he was special? Where does that hatred come from? That don't come from the Most High. Okay. So what happened is this is why you got to be careful who you interact with. The Most High made it to where these people came about through Yakuba. Okay. They say he was in the island of Patmos. Deloney. This is Atlantis. They're going to hide in Atlantis. They're hiding in Atlantis. Okay. So they're showing how he said, well, he made the different white people by grafting them, breeding, referred to as grafting. That's not completely true. We did have mixed races. He did separate us. But this is the one. That's why the book goes into it. He says, he saw Thoth was making, he took the DNA and it was extracting it and making white people. Okay. He was making creatures. He was making, just like the days of Noah. So the devil understood this. I have to keep the, I want the most high to do like he did before the Messiah gets here. But remember, the Most High never breaks his promise, but Satan's still going to try. This is why everything was all jacked up before the Messiah came. And we were told to stay away from that, but we didn't listen. So this is why every time the Most that's why the devil knew, okay, I'm going to get these people going to captivity. But this will be the Most High like me, get kicked out. Just like I got kicked out because they following my teachings, my Gentile teachings. Okay. So this fallen angel, or this hybrid, you, you, this is even, that's where the DNA come from. I'll even show you, when you look at his staff, this is where your DNA thing comes from. This is, this is, the, this is the hidden knowledge of all secret societies. Moors, all this, they worship all these deities. They just can't tell you that. 
because they want to keep everything. They want to keep you think Jesus, Jesus, God, God. The most I like. This is why. This is how you mix your spirituality, and then you don't have power. So what it is is that our tablets, and we're mixing our tablets with these tablets. That is why you cannot have the true power. You have to break free of that. This is what the this is what uh, the harlot did when did by. This is what the the the, per, the uh, all the, the the Nimrod's kingdom lived by these tablets. The Most High had blessed him. He turned around and does this because his mother was one of the hybrids. Cush should never have mixed with her. That's why he was shamed by the Most High. He was shamed. Hence the reason why his wife left and went to her son Nimrod. It's actually brother, go to Truth on Earth. He talks about that. The beginning of religions. Okay. Now, Satan is not stupid. He realizes the Most High is going to keep working with his people. So he had to push further, push further to go to the point where he went to the point of saying, I, the Messiah is already here. This is your boy right here that they worshiping. And this joker is still messing with Africa. All right. Still messing with Africa. All right. This is him. Okay, this is him in Egypt. This is the false messiah, okay? This is what they did. This is the paganism. This is what, the, this like I said, the, the devil lay low the Gentiles. This is why the messiah got upset with the seven churches. The same thing that we, this is, this is Jesus and Mary. To the, to the Christians. What they did, they mixed the spirituality of the Bantu, the Banabetu, with the ancient pagan holidays. But then they told, but then they had everybody teach it in a way that they would say, no, that's not true. Even though it's written in the book. That's what the Most High said. You cannot, you cannot see clearly, still attached to her. And her image is in America. Continue. They change, they have to remember, they hide themselves by changing the way they look for the dominant race. So when Yakuba, as a curse of the Most High, made these white people and they started dominating all the black people, which is exactly what they started to do, okay? They started mixing with the other races. And this is what, and when Esau messed up, he started messing with them too, okay? This is what they started to do. And they made a book about it, the, the, the erasing of the right black race. But it was because we disobeyed the Most High. All the, all the levels. Remember, Shem had other brothers and other children. Our Pakshad, the all, everybody's worshiping false idols, even Abana, Abraham, until the Mosai stirred him up and said, wait a minute, something is wrong with this. Because he remembered his promise to his people, he got to make Josiah. Then what the word called Yusuf, Yusuf Kristu, okay? So now, when you hear, hallelujah, now the problem is, when we think about Christianity, they already had a God named Christos. That's why we say Christianity exists. There was a God named Christos. Helios, Biblios was Helios, he was Christos. That is the name for the Romans and the Greeks to call Tammuz, Horus, Heru. So what the devil, he, his role was first he said okay i'm gonna make this false messiah make them believe he already came of course the most high i think about he said no nah, don't believe this stuff but we still went went with it that's why he got upset when we put for tammuz what are you doing in ezekiel what are you doing that's the fault that's him that's the liar they never stopped that in the gentiles never stopped it they think they did, but they didn't. They just changed the way they called it. Okay, this is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit merged with Lucifer. 
right there. This is what the Masons and the Secret Society, they, they were part of these. They, this was their gods from way back when. The, even the cross of Tammuz looked like the cross you have in the church because Nimrod crucified people. That's, that's why I said they don't, they talk about the book of Jasher, but they don't put it in there because then you realize, whoa, we got the whole thing mixed up. They have to hide things for this purpose. They know this. They know that this is the way to keep, the devil did this. He did this to deceive the whole world into thinking you, this is how we got, that's why the most High said the ox knows his mask, doesn't the donkey knows the crib, but my people do not know me because we worship, we were still connected to them. That's why he told me we never stop worshiping Baal. This is what got us in trouble. This is what got us scattered even when Isaiah came, because remember, Ben Yamun, he never left, but he still divorced the tribe. And Yaounde were the ones in Yakub, were in Yisrael at the time when the Messiah was walking. He sent the people to go get the other tribes, even then, his disciples, okay? We have to realize, you know, and people will say, I don't hear no scripts. I don't hear. Look, I'm speaking like Isaiah now. Isaiah didn't sit there and start second round, script, 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 script. No. He told people in parables. He taught people what's going on. I'm telling you what's going on. The Messiah is telling me to tell you what's going on. You never stop worshiping Baal and you worshiping him in America right now. You worship him in South America. You worship him in Africa. You worship him in Europe. You worship him in Australia, in, in Asia, all of that. He's the same God. They just go by different names so you don't, don't remember. They switch the names to hide themselves among the back with the heath but with their people the gentiles rome took that name and made it us they made the gentiles think they were the bride equal to mistaught paul's teachings this is why mistaught kept us teaching peter this is why him and paul got into it because they were changing stuff before paul was even peter was even dead this is when, this is the spirit that was in Simon the sorcerer that made him call himself the Messiah in front of Nero. That they try to say that, oh, that book isn't true. Right no, you think that way because these books were coming from the Congo. They were coming from us. They were our spirituality. And they stole it to reteach it in a way that you think is wrong or messed up or whatever. No, they were trying to mod they were trying to hide our spirituality in different versions of our of teaching. Until Rome came and just put the clamp on, we running things. We're gonna make everything come through us, the, the uh, Church of Laodicea. This is the problem that's happening today, of why it's so hard to wake people up. These jokers here. These spirits act like the most high. That's why he said, my enemies are confederate against me. Thy enemies are confederate against thee. When, oh, no, Dawidi said that. Your enemies are confederate. Why? Because this, all these fallen angels, all these, that's why he said you back against Prince Power, all these demons, all of their Anunnaki, whatever you want to call them, they hate the most high with a passion like Esau. But there's one thing they all understand right here. We get to judge them. But they don't want that. So they had to make us not. That's why Toko came and said, no, you're the real people. These seven churches, they followed the traditions of men. The traditions of men come from three, these three gods and the rest of them, the balls. That's why he said, I got to remove Balaam from your mouth. This is all Balaam right here. But the problem is when you get indoctrinated by a system that constantly tells you things over and over and over and over and over and over again, then you start to believe it's true. That's what they do. See, in the, you don't understand, when they originally made the first Bible, 
for the Latin people, they didn't let them read it. They told it to them. Now, if that's not deceptive, I don't know what is, but you still gonna believe that this church is the most high. The fact that you won't even, weren't even allowed to read it should have been a problem. This is why you had wars going on. Why do you think that Rome had to kill people to get them in, in line? Because they started realizing something don't sound, seem right. Okay? Islam was meant to keep the other churches in line that didn't want to continue to go along with Rome's teachings. Because the Messiah took, gave him the warning. If you keep doing this stuff, I'm coming to take away your lampstand. They believed him. So they tried to fight it, but Rome, boom, slapped their hand. No, you staying with us. People don't understand this history. St. Jerome, all these people. This is the truth, people. You want to continue to believe what you want to believe, go right ahead. But the most are saying, come out of her. This is the harlot. This is how she made you drunk with the wine. Partake, opening her legs, spreading, whatever, do whatever you wish. That's what that's why there was all this paganism stuff going on in debauchery in the in the Gentile world. That doesn't mean they didn't love each other. They were just very wicked at times. They're, these are dead gods, okay? This is why the Most High really said, I don't really need these sacrifices it's about disobedience. It's about obedience. That's why he got upset. He's like, hey, look, I was just getting you to understand to open your heart when you do these sacrifices to me, that you generally, that you generally care about your sins. I don't need this sacrifice. I don't need it. I am eternal, okay? But the problem was, the, the, the evil spirits had tainted the way of our thinking to think, oh, the creator must have this, 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 uh, this, he, you must do this just to, just to do it. Okay? But we still treat each other like garbage and do our own thing. That's why he got upset. We didn't understand we had to circumcise our heart, not just the circumcision of our, you know, male genitalia. And see, because the Egyptians, they suck. Even in modern, we're talking about the Egyptians used to circumcise. But are they with the spirit of the Most High? No. Okay? Because the point is, Satan was copying everything through the spirit of the false Messiah to teach people to think that he was the one. This is why his stories, when they converge them, this is why it was so easy to take his story and merge it with our Messiah story, take his version and override ours, and then we'll believe that. Because it starts when you're small to teach you this whole thing. They know that. And to, and to discredit those who fight against it. They do that all the time. And to teach their pastors to keep regurgitating the same thing and only show them the history that comes from the Ashkenazi Jew side, the stuff that they already changed. You see, they don't tell you that these scriptures are ours. Okay, so now, what did Satan do? He kept having us, tricking us to go mix with these other races, other, other kingdoms. And most I say, okay, you got to get away from me. I'm tired of telling you. Just like before. I'm tired of telling you. You're my chosen people. And that's why the way really got upset, like, yeah, you gods. This is exactly what the most I was trying to tell Adama, trying to tell uh, Isaiah, was trying to tell us. We are way, that's why he said, do not be of this world. That's why he didn't want us around it. This is the worldly stuff that even now these spirits, I said, these spirits don't go anywhere. They're always around until you have the power to get them away from you. But they had to trick the, the Gentiles that you have this power, okay, when their spirituality is mixed. That's why the, the devil, the most high said, you know, Isaiah said that Satan cannot cast out Satan. So if you're mixing your spirituality, you can't do nothing to Satan. He can make you think you did. That's why he laughs. People don't even stand. He's laughing because he know he's playing you. He said, you don't even know you're standing in Babylon. This is my kingdom. My image is in the middle of Washington, D.C. You don't even see it. Why? Because Satan deceived the whole world. 
Because the whole purpose of the fact that the 400 years, that's why he created the, he even tainted the, the thinking. They, the Oscar Jews know their God is Satan. But they won't tell you that because the most, he had, they have to maintain that keeping up with appearances. It's all about keeping up with appearances, people. Okay? False doctrines. They took our knowledge, tainted it into this stuff you hear about science and all the other things. It's a lie. Created the world being a globe because they want they wanted the alien concept to work. So that when the Mosai comes and brings judgment, oh, you got attacked by aliens, or you got attacked by Anunnaki, or you got attacked by all these different species. These are all demons. They just don't tell the truth. Oh, I come from planet so-and-so. I come from, man, they come from fallen angels calling themselves planets. <sighs> That's what the Mosai says. Satan does not have a child. He has children. Okay. That's why he said, if, if you, that's why the most I said, let me go to the scripture, okay? People just don't get it sometimes. Okay, I found it good. I turned right to it. Hallelujah. Matea, verse 12. He said, actually, we'll start. Um, 22. Then they brought him one who was demon possessed, blind and dumb, and he healed him so that the blind, dumb man both spoke and saw. Um, how many passages you see do that? Like that. How many passages you see do that? Okay. Now remember, these these this this boy is afflicted with demonic. This is what they made. They made him dumb. They made him blind, and they made him what? Or is he blind and dumb? That could be, <laughs> let me tell you something. That could be physical and spiritual both. They can make you spiritually blind and physically blind. They can make you spiritually dumb and physically dumb. People don't understand, okay? And all the crowds were amazed and said, is this the Ben of the Weedy? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, this one does not cast out demons except by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. This is why the Most High keeps saying, it's one thing to read scripture, it's one thing to know scripture, it's a whole nother thing to actually do what Isaiah did. Because what's going to happen? Oh, it's witchcraft. Just like the, 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 the people are saying, just like our brothers are saying in, in, in uh, Africa. Our own people reading this Bible, claim to see miracles, so and so, so miracles. And it's like, um, but yet, they don't realize they get deceived by charlatans that have set these things up. You're not, get, you're, you're not you're getting a show. Because mixed spirit, that's why he said, these people have mixed spirituality in Christianity. They just don't know it. I'm going to get into that once again, where he talks about the seven churches. They never, they never changed. That's why Toko told them, oh, right, he never changed. They never changed. All right. So he says, and Isaiah, G Jesus, Yusu, whatever you want to call him, Isaiah, knew their thoughts and said to them, every rain divided against itself is laid waste or cannot stand. So Satan's kingdom cannot stand if it's divided against itself. So his demons, whether they hate like each other or not, are still on one accord with what he wants. This is the, this is the deception. Okay. And he said, if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then does his reign stand? So the, the kingdom of hell cannot stand. If Satan, and he even talked about this in Bartholomew. Okay. How he set up his kingdom against the most highest throne. From the beginning, after he wouldn't bow before Adama. 
Okay. Now, this is what made us the valley of the dry bones, but we don't have no no clue. It can even be it can be the dry bones can be physical and also mental and also physical or spiritual. You can be dead. That's why he said, "Let the dead bury the dead." The dead in flesh can the dead in spirit can bury the dead in flesh. You don't have time for that. Then he said. If I, by Beelzebub, cast out demons, by whom do your sons cast them out? Because of this, they shall be your judges. So the demons would be your judges if you cast them out by demons. But who is your God? The Most High. So how can that be? We are the judges of them. The only way you can do that is to be with the Most High. And that's the point. But if I cast out demons by the wonder of Elimo, then the rain of Elimo has come upon you. So <laughs> this is the deception that the, the, the devil put on the whole world. The kingdom of the most high never left as long as you have the power of Hamasia. It is in you. So Christians say, oh, we're going to the kingdom. Oh, the kingdom, huh? kingdom, 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 kingdom. Oh, we're waiting on the kingdom to come. The kingdom's already here if you have Jesus. Yes, If you can cast out demons in the name of the Most High, the kingdom is already here. Just like he said, if you can heal the sick, make the blind see. This is what Toko and Kimbango and Padi and Simba Vita all them were saying that these people are lying to you because the, the Pope Catholic Church had you praying up to the sky or bowing your head, closing your eyes. They had you saying, Oh, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus, man. People don't understand. Yes, the, he went to sit at the right hand of his father. But when he is, when the king, but the kingdom is already here. That's why he told his disciples, you ask the kingdom, he said, he said, when they ask him when the kingdom come, you don't even realize the kingdom's already here. You just can't see it. So you have to understand here on earth, there's two separate kingdoms that's invisible to you when you don't have power. Satan's kingdom and the most highest kingdom. That's why he said, when you walk in spirituality, you will see this. And then you will see the demon, you will see what who's cast out what. That's why they, you know, the exorcisms, they make me laugh now. Tell me your name, demon. No, if you let me tell you something. If you have the spirit of the Moanda, the Moanda will tell you the name of the demon. <sighs> Do you understand now? And they have you putting it as just one name, Satan. Demons got different names. So they laughing at you. I discovered that when I did what I did. That, the, the, I was casting out Satan and my wife. She's still smoking. That demon was laughing. That's not my name. That, that's why they don't teach you the, 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 the testament of Solomon. Because every demon, just like every angel has a responsibility, every demon has a responsibility. And they got a different name. When he cast out legion, did he say Satan? People. And then he cast them out. Where do you think they went? They disappeared? They went back to the Gentiles who had been Rome, the, all the, what, the Greeks, everybody, Asia, wherever they were from. Because they always doing this. That is why in America, you can think that capitalism, where you purposely keep people broke, is okay with the Most High. When he literally said it in the Bible, the opposite, you are to share with the poor. The wealthy cannot enter the kingdom. That's why they won't teach you the apocalypse of, of, of Kepa. 
Peter, it says it. If you put your trust in gold, which is what the curse of Enoch and them was given, that's why they're always trying to look for gold. You're going to be searching for gold for eternity. Can't get to it. Can't touch it. Nothing. If that becomes your desire, that is where your heart is. This is why he said, if you want to pursue wealth so you can have these nice cars and, all, and nice houses and, and live the lavish life and be on your yacht and all this that, that's where your heart is. But keeping it that way is the hardest thing because everybody's competing for that. That's why they have to keep you below so that you don't touch them. Because they know that these blessings are not coming from the Most High. They're coming from their God, Lucifer. Okay? Like I said, I'm sorry this is so long, but you got to understand that we are living in a time where the Most High is doing a bunch of things. That whole storm that hit America, why do you think, who do you, why do you, if, the, if this is, listen, and this is what I'm going to say, Christians say, oh, because we're so evil. Well, then you're, this is not the Most High's kingdom then. You are not the chosen people if your kingdom is wicked. If America is wicked, then you are not the chosen people. Because he says in his kingdom, there is no wickedness. You cannot be. Oh, but the preacher said repentance, the repent. Them. Man, let me tell you something. It's all about making money for Rome. And they know that. They never separated. It's a lie. The Knights Templar and the Jesuits are one. They started the Washington, D.C. together. The Knights Templar and the Jesuits started Washington, D.C. together. They, you look at the history of it. Go look it up. They named things. They did stuff, all kind of stuff with the Knights Templar. And the Knights Templar is 100% wicked. And you know the history of that. They didn't go anywhere. They just changed the name. Mason now. Freemason. We're in the Iron Horse right there. On the horse ain't going no, they ain't going nowhere. Okay, that's why the most I say he's saying is you mixing your spirituality and doing the things the Masons have guided you to do, you make you can't cast out Satan. So the Masons they sit up there laughing at you all day long. You have no idea who what this is. They have put you go and work, do these pagan holidays. You attach demons to your children. Then you wonder why I can't control my kid. Well, is it because the demon took over? They don't listen to you no more. Hey, stop. No. I'm not going to. No, stop. Oh, keep. Or you, you have to say things over and over and over and over. Yes. Because the first of all, the music you got missing, you, you put this music in the ear. And the, and the music, the music they make is demonic. They already, man, you look up Hollywood and the music industry, they did this to keep you away from the Most High. And they use the gifts of the Most High's people to really skyrocket it. Man, I'm telling you, <laughs> this is the biggest lie. If you had to use the Yiddish music, do you think they'd make any money? Why do you think the, the Oscar I use old black own black artists? They run all the music companies. Their music would never sell a dime if they had to put it out there. Because they know it's not, people won't want to hear that. They have to use the ability of the most high people to make the music. They already know. But they're not them. That's why we're trying to get you to understand. There's no way the Hebrew Israelite can be the awakening. When Simon, Simon Toko was already telling people before there was even a Hebrew Israelite that the African Americans are the real Jews. 
and so are people scattered. He was telling them that. That's why they wanted to kill him because he's like, no, he wake, they were trying to, let me explain something to you. How do you think all these nations got wealthy with all of this trip money did to Africa and the Africans are poor? Because they were stealing it in the name of Jesus Christ. Handing them things. Hello? What is the reverse psychology on them? Because the majority of people that were leadership in these churches coming in were secret society. They know that. They turn our own people into Freemasons to convince you to give them the money. Oh, yeah, this is the way it's supposed to be. No. That was the false messiah coming in the back door once again from the past, when you went to Egypt, turning you back into Egypt, stealing from you by the name, a different name. Oh, pay your tithes and offering. The most I said that his storehouse is gone. Where were you, where you putting the storehouse? I'm telling you, people, this, this right here today. You have to understand. The devil, okay, so how did he finish deceiving? By making the Gentiles think they were equal with you. First. Then he said, well, now you're not even the Jews. When he started twisting everything and giving, that's why the Messiah said, those who say they are Jews but are not, but so now I say, he's talking about the people wearing the hats in Israel right now. He already saw it. He's like, these are not the people. Even the people who think they converted from that to Christianity, no. And they say, oh, all I got to believe is believe. Man, if you're spirit, that's what, why do you think he said, not everybody who says to me, Lord, Lord, will I answer? Because you got worshiping the wrong version of him. You think he's white? No. And on top of that, even if you think he's black, you're still attached to Ishtar. So what are you, who are you really, you're trying to cast out Satan when you're still attached to Satan. So it doesn't matter. Satan knows he's black. Does that mean, does that mean he does the right thing all the time? No. Satan knows what he looks like. That doesn't mean he's helping you get out, get back to the kingdom. He could, he don't want to be judged. So that's what I'm saying. He knew Messiah come, salvations of the Yahunde, the Yahudi, Yahudi, and Yahunde, or Yisole. Man, we can't, th this Messiah can't come back. Because if he come back, we're done. That's why when he, they, they did it so messed up to teach you backwards. That Toko came as a child and Messiah came in and snuck in and said, look, fix this. You, It's wrong. That's why they didn't want people to hear what he was saying. And even then, after he left, they still try to taint it. Even now, even Kimbangu, Christianity, you know, the Jehovah's Witness who, who were witnessing this, Thinking, okay, read 144. Man, all kind of stuff. The Masons knew this word can't get out of his That's why they really, really coming down on the awakening now that his name is popping up in America. Oh, oh, oh no. No, 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 no. That's why the Church of Jesus Christ in the world, they don't have an assembly here. Even though they're in Europe, Africa, South America, That's why they have a lot of preachers in Africa still twisting. Even though they're using the right language, they're using the right names, calling themselves Christian. And you, you're speaking the Messiah language. What? You are so, that's why I say it doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. The Messiah has told you, fear not the one that can kill the body. But fear the one that can kill the body and the spirit. Okay, 
Th this is the problem. This is the problem. Okay. Now, so how does that play out for now and today? If you want to become part of the remnant, you need to understand all of this. First of all, he created fake religions to stop the Messiah from coming and tried to mix the bloodline so he wouldn't be born, failed. After he came, he had to teach his people they were not the people so that they would not come together as a nation and be scattered among the world and still be kept uh, and be taught and have their book be taught backwards to them so that the world would know who they are to bring them home so that everything could be righteous and teach false doctrines. Teach the Gentiles different. That's why they taught different. The, the reason why they teach different beginning stories is because the Gentiles were made in Atlantis. They were made through Yakuba, who was, that's why he, in that book, it tells you he took the tablets and hid them from them. The movie 2012 that they made was about the renewal process when they said, oh, the, the calendar was in the end. Yeah, it was, the 2012 was the beginning of this transition period. They got their tablets back. They were The, the Cherokee had it. That's what Yakuba sent them. They were hiding them under a spell, or under a maleki that wouldn't let them have it until it was time. That's why in the book, he'll tell you that they conjured up a Nephilim. Where are the keys at? You find the tablet? The dude said, no, he was, a, he was a secret society. Ripped his heart out. Kill him. Why would you serve a being like that? And people say, oh, that's fiction. That's a Man, I'm telling you, they do this. This is why they're so afraid of them in Hollywood. This is why they're so afraid of them in, in all, all these different levels. Because they know, boom, he'll rip your heart out in an instant. Because they don't worship the Most High, he don't. Oh well, you at the mercy of the devil now, okay? And so, people, this is why it's so important to realize we have built nearly every kingdom on this planet from disobedience. Nimrod knows exactly where we've been this whole time. That's why they have a fabricated history from start to finish. That's why they're teaching the false, false scientific theories. Because they don't want you to know that the Book of Enoch happened again. Nothing's new under the sun. So now you have people saying, oh, that book was fake. No. People, listen. We need to realize. Now, now you got people. Do you not think the Bantu women, they're going to put, they're going, I said, the devil is not going to stop trying. He, he tried to stop our father Abana from making his sacrifice. He tried to stop us, all the things he did to stop the Messiah from being born. All the things he did to stop from him coming back that you don't understand. You think he's just going to roll over and say, okay, go home? No. In every captivity we ever been in, the most I had to boom force the issue. Let's go. We out. That's gonna happen here, and it's more modernized now, so it's gonna be more damage. But of course, they gotta say when the most I do something, just like in just like in the days of Egypt, when the most I did something, oh no, 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 Egyptians, oh, this is this, this is that. The problem is the the, the citizens of the United States don't realize they're Egyptians. They don't realize that they're Babylonians. So when the Most High is doing something, oh, it's the weather did this, oh, this, the hurricane did, the, the, this is what, this, this, this. It's always scientific. Oh, this is what happened. It's those making excuses again. Oh, no, uh, oh, no, no, see, no, this is what happened. No, this is what happened. Oh, why did this volcano? Oh, this what happened. This oh, why did why did the earthquake tremble? Why did it? Oh, the plate tech or the place moving? It? No, the Most High is doing this to wake up these people to let us go. Oh, why did 9/11 happen? Oh, well, these terrorists attack. No, the Most High did that to tell them I'm coming for y'all. But they won't tell you the truth. 
They know what's going on. He said, I will tear down, but they build back up. That's why when they, he tore down the towers, they built another one up, one combined. People, you don't get it. Okay, nothing, nothing happens without his permission, for one. And two, he don't have to interact with none of these demons. They, they doing their part to do what he wants them, what needs to be done to get us to get our attention, to get away from them. If you don't want to have to deal with none of this wickedness, you have to come back to him You'll only be attacked like the Messiah was, but you will never be defeated, ever. See, Christianity has been taught, oh, we're never defeated. Oh, I'm an overcomer. I'm this, I'm that. No, you can't be saved believing that you are the bride because you're living a lie. You can only be saved by the bride. That's the lie. The, when Isaiah the got upset, Isaiah got upset because the churches made themselves the bride instead of bringing the bride back through the deception of us. Okay. Period. That's why he got upset in Revelation. No, you can't do that. You're teaching things wrong because you got these spirits, you mixing your spirituality. So, and you also tolerating these false Jews that's not telling the truth. Stop listening to them. They're not my people. But yet they run the world right now because you didn't pay attention. That's how they were able to take the, 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 uh, the identity because the Gentiles didn't have it. They, oh, yeah, they, oh, yeah this, this is how we went down. This how we, they took the story, made them their own. Okay. I'm telling people, we don't have much time here. It's over. It is over. The Most High has called it. He's already sent out the warning to the Bantu, Banabetu. The true warning's going out. He, this is we're in the judgment of the, of the Gentiles right now. We are in the judgment of the Gentiles right now, and anyone attached to them and their gods, they just don't know it because they let themselves not do what the Most High said, which is to come to him in prayer like you know nothing. If you would have done that instead of always listening to what oh, my pastor said, or my pastor said, or this man said, or this, or this book said, no. Even I'm telling you right now, anything I'm telling you, go to him. If you don't think, if you think I'm wrong, go to him. This stuff is what he brought me to when I asked him, how did the devil deceive the whole, the whole world? Okay. He said, the white people are not the same. They are a dabo, which is where you get the word devil from. They are carbon copies. They flipped it in the movie with Denzel. <laughs> he was telling you that. They have surrogate souls. They don't have the same angel bringing the same, soul, same, same thing to them. That's why they don't bring the law to them. The law is not on their hearts. That's why they can go along and, and go to church on one day and, and act a fool and come back. Or they go to they go to uh, colleges and, ooh, ooh, party. That's their nature. That's where they come from, the, the barbarians. They didn't know nothing. That's why they don't mind running around naked because they didn't have, they never, they never knew the truth. Okay, I'm just telling y'all right now, man, we, we're living in a time where, like I said, you know, let me just give you a couple of examples of how he, let's see what he said. All right, here we go. Bartholomew said to him, flow, chastest thou souls of men. Like basically, I said, how do you do that? Billy also said, well, thou that I declare unto thee the punishment of the hypocrites and the backbiters and the jesters and the idolaters and the covetous and the adulterers and the wizards and the diviners of them that believe in us 
and of all whom I look upon deceive, when I will show any illusion by them, but they that do these things, and they not consent unto them or follow them to do perish with me. See? Glossal said to him, declare quickly how thou persuadest men not to follow the most high and thine evil arts. They are that are slippery and dark, that they should leave the straight and shining paths. Matthew says unto him, I, I will that thou declare it in a few words. And he smote his teeth together, gnashing them. <laughs> Who's gnashing the teeth, y'all? And there came upon the bottomless, and there came out of the out of the bottomless pit a wheel having a sword flashing with fire, and in the sword were pipes. And I, he asked me, said, what is this sword? And he said, this sword is a sword of the gluttonous. For into this pipe are sent they that through their gluttony devise all manner of sin. Into the second pipe are sent the backbiters and backbite their neighbor secretly. That's why he said, bear no fall witness against your neighbor. This way you're going. Into the third pipe, he sent the hypocrites. This is why I even had to be my, to change my ways a little bit. Okay, I got to make, that's why he said, make sure you walk in, in righteousness, because if you're not, you're a hypocrite. And, and rest whom I overthrow by my con, contrivance. And the, Antichrist, and the Antichrist said, I will tell thee, and a wheel came up out of the abyss, having seven fiery knives. The first knife had 12 pipes. The Antichrist answered, the pipe of fire and the first knife, in it are put the casters of lots. So you cast lots and diviners and enchanter. That's where the witchcraft going. So these secret society doing witchcraft, this is where they're going. They deceive. I'm talking about Satan is lying to you. He knows this is where you're going. Witchcraft. Oh, no, we, we got spells against evil. We ain't serving him. Man. And they that believe in them have sought them because in the inquiry of their heart. And a lot of you are attached to this from your own bloodline. You just don't know it. They have invented false divinations. This is why you can see things that don't really that look like this is how they, they, they trick you on television. In the second pipe of fire are first the blasphemers, suicides. So y'all thinking, oh, he killed himself? Man, idolaters. Most Christians don't even realize all these things you put up is idolatry. I'm telling you. This is why the most I say you have no power like you think because you are idolaters. This is why they made these shows called American Idol. Idolize this star. Idolize that star. I do these things. Okay. In the rest are first perjurers. You perjure yourself. This is where you're going. And then he says, Dost thou then do these things by thyself alone? And Satan, he said, if I were able to go forth by myself, I would have destroyed the whole world in three days. So he has to have help. He has to have help to destroy you. Many. But neither I nor any of the 600 go forth, but we have, our, have other swift ministers with whom we command, we furnish them with a hook of many points and send them forth to hunt. And they catch for us souls of men, enticing them with the sweetness of divers' baits, that is by drunkenness and laughter, by backbiting, hypocrisy, pleasures, fornication, and the rest of the like. Okay, the like probably must have missing. And I tell also the, also the rest of the names of the angels. The angel of the hail is Merimoth. That's actually in the book of Abraham, Merimoth. He, yeah, they had an idol like that. And the ministers uh, to adjure him and send him whither they will. And my ministers send him wherever they will. But like I said, the most I said, this is the hell he stored up. And the other angel are of this over the snow. Hello, your snowstorms. You think, man, I'm telling you, they lying. The weather is a fabrication they, they, these are witches they're they doing they doing sorcery Co 
conjuring up these demons, bro. Y'all, this is what they do. This is why the Mosai said, this is why Yesiah could to, to, could command the wind to stop. Because it's a Malenki. You don't understand. It's a Malenki. It's an angel. So he called that angel, stop. He got to listen to him. Woo. And others are there over the snow, over the thunder, and over the lightning. This is why he was able to calm the sea. And he says, I go forth by land or by sea. This is why Messiah, Messiah said when he walked on water, he commanded the, the, the one that made the water to go over top of him. He go by a different name, of course, in Greek mythology. You know, <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Many things I will tell of the, the three angels, they run together thoroughly in heaven, heavenly places, earthly, all these things. All of these, look at them. You can look at them on your own. I'm not going to say them out. These are who you have, this is who you have control over. Okay? When you have the power to mourn and send. And they do what you tell them to do. Okay? So I'm just going to say this to in closing. Hallelujah. This is it. The most high. Why do you think all these secrets are coming out now? Why do you think all the lies are coming out now? Why do you think? And they're not going to admit it to a time until we put the chains on this joker. Until they put the chains on this joker, they're not going to finally come clean. And it's going to happen. But they have to get people set up for the lie because one of the things I read in the other scripture I was, I was doing in the, uh, uh, the testament of Solomon uh, I mean uh, Apocalypse of Elijah Elijah and also the Apocalypse of Kepa the more it, it literally says the fig tree is the house of Israel the more we brighten the more the fallen angels are going to try to cut off that's why we're getting attacked that's in the book that's missing this is why the bound to witness getting attacked, because he said the, when the when the when the fig, fig, uh, when the, uh, the the fig tree starts to sprout and get closer and, and everything gets more powerful and ready, we can we become more and more aware of who we are. They're gonna come hit us with stuff. Oh no, that's false prophet. That's this. That's that. Because the false messiah knows his time is up. He's not going to give up just because, like I saw him. Um, the only way he can't touch you in the ways you think you can. Like he's saying, when he's sitting in the presence of Isaiah, they can't do nothing to you. So stop listening to what these Christian pastors are saying. It's a lie. They work for the false messiah. The majority of them. There are those who actually know this truth and will preach it, but they will never give you credit. They give them credit. This, like I said, the most high said, I mean, Timon Toko was talking about this. That the he said the Protestants won't accept the other books the Catholics put out. And they won't accept the, uh, even more books. The hidden mysteries. They keep talking about Catholic about these mysteries. They don't even know what they are. The mystery of the Most High is that you have the kingdom inside of you when you believe in Tata and Zombie in Pungu Tolando. You have the kingdom. And they don't want you to know that. They want you to keep thinking, oh, that's why that's why you can't understand the book of Thomas. Thomas said, Thomas said, if you think the kingdom is above you, then the birds will precede you. If you think the kingdom is below you, then the fish will precede you. But the kingdom is here and all around you. I told this to a brother from, south, from the south. His ears started ringing. They even tried to tell you, oh, that's a condition. You're about to have a, 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 it's a different, totally different ring. They don't want you to know the most high is speaking to you. Hey, wake up, wake up. Hey, wake up. 
You have no idea what's going on with you. You have been deceived by the whole the whole world. This is why he said, come out of all the harlot, the carnality of this world. Do not desire the things of this world. Why? Because the world is going to be burned according to that. All these desires they're putting out there in front of you, you're going to pay for it. That's why they all talk about, oh, the desire of your heart. <clears throat> your heart's desire. Israel wanted a king. He gave us our heart's desire. Did it? How did it go? We got jacked up. Thrown into captivities. For, the, for men messing up, Saul's kingdom was divided because of the mistake he made. Turn his heart away from the Most High. That's what the Most High said. Your first king should be him. So quit talking about, oh, I'm king, this queen, that king, this king. Listen, it's great. We had kingdoms. But look what happened. Those kingdoms got us there, what? We in captivity again. Because look what Money Congo did. Look what he did. He accepted Portuguese Catholicism, then he wanted to come back. Oh, it's too late now. They done took over. You see, it's great to have kings. Look what happened with Shaka. Look what happened. The British took him over. We love, it's great to have, because the Most High said, I am your king. You put me first and everything will go fine. But you wanted to put your trust in men. Even though, yeah, did we say, yeah, we are kings, but he still did what? He sinned. Yesiah was born of sin, which is why he had to be baptized, but he never committed sin, which is why he was pure. He had to remove the flesh himself. He was flesh. The flesh was weak. He, he overcame. He did what we could not do. He overcame the flesh. That's what makes you like the most high. You overcome the flesh and live in the spirit. This is the problem that we do not understand. But the Most High was providing everything for the disciples they needed, so they didn't need to worry about it. That's why we was trying to teach them. You don't need to worry about nothing. See, we have been given such a twisted understanding of the Bible. Not even the name of it is right. Is right. It's the Tula. All, everything the Most High says is the Tula. He's putting this in your heart. But love is the most thing that powers over all of it, because if you have love, you're never wrong. You will treat the most, you will worship the whole high every single day, like Paul the Solar said, like it's the Samba. See, you'll never be wrong. Do we still have a dead rest? Yes, but see, the, the Messiah said, I am your eternal rest. His, he, he is the, the most high is in his Samba, his eternal rest. That's why he said, You should not enter my rest. That's why he said, I am the Lord of the Sabbath. He fulfilled the scriptures. You don't understand. Many of you Hebrew Israelites are still practicing Judaism. Like the Ashkenazi Jews are. And they are removing the Messiah from you. Because you focus too much on the law like he did. Like he said, you, can never, you cannot get to the kingdom by the law alone. He said that because you'll never be right. Because in order to get through by the law, you have to sacrifice something. Well, there's no more sacrificing. Because he is the sacrifice. This is why you have anger and animosity and infighting and all these things because he said, in the secret teaching of Jesus, he said, I can to put an end to sacrifice. And unless you put an end to sacrificing, which means sacrificing means giving to gods, which you don't even know many of you are still doing it. 
then you, then anger will not cease from you. The frustration will never, you won't be, you'll never be, you'll never be at peace, is what he's saying. And the Gentiles understand it better than we do. The problem is they've got their, their spirituality twisted. So they think they have authority. And they don't. Many of them don't have authority. They think they do, but they don't. Because in Bartholomew's other book, it says the demons calm down once you pay, get what do you think giving them money's for? Of course they're gonna chill out when you give them tithes and offering. You money can be a form of sacrifice. That's why even the most high said, You give unto me, freely you give. He said, he said I, I the lady who gave the least about was more important than the people who gave a lot. Because it's not about the amount, people, it's about what's in your heart. The problem is you have been challenging your heart to the one pretending to be like the most high than the one who is the most high because he pretends to be the most high. So this is why a lot of the things that happen in your life, they still go wrong. They, things, bad things keep happening. Why is this still happening? I, I believe in you, God. You're praying your heart out. Because he says, if you in idolatry, I don't hear you. Satan just tell you that. If you're in idolatry, he does not hear you. Because you're praying to an idol. It's just like what happened with my Abana. These idols don't hear me. They're not alive. Abraham, in his father's house. The most like, who are you praying to? Not me. Anybody can be God. That's why they took his names away from us and gave you these generic names. All right. So Kimbo, Kim and Tatanzami, Yamazulu, King Fumu Kyaku, he said, when I have this book, I'm going to go into more details because he talked about Kimbangu, the African avatars and all of that. He talked about how these people do conjure Anunnaki and Nephilim, and they do lie. They're not going to tell you the truth because we're going to judge them. So if you start believing, that's why the most I said, don't mention these demons by their name, these other guys by their name, don't talk to them because they will deceive you. But they tricked us in our, they caused us to curse ourselves by putting their names in our language. And remove, that's why they took our language from us because they wanted us to curse ourselves like they were. They just didn't tell the people that you have to understand the higher ups with the money don't ever tell the lower down, lower downs what's really going on. Never did. That's why they can tell you whatever in school and you believe it. <laughs> Fabrications. Modify the truth. Lying to you. Knowing that they're working with the fallen angels and they're lying to you. Hallelujah. Okay, Betuabu, um, Sambulolo, to all my Betu brothers and sisters, I know this was a little long. It might be a little confusing. I'll try my best to not go off so much in a tangent. I hate when I do that. But the point is, this is how, this is, this is why this whole revelation is coming undone. Now that we know like, where, the, where the city is going to be, where everything's going to be, okay? And then Hollywood's even put it on our face. You all even pay attention. Okay, they know who we are. They know the truth. They, they're going to keep telling lies to your face, even on the news. The news every day lie after I just sat there and watch. I'm like, I just shake my head like, oh, you guys are just so much deceivers. Because you in America and in Africa, when as long as you're going along with your government officials, you are building Lucifer's kingdom. The Most High say, you need to come back to me to build my kingdom. And you think the churches are doing that, and they're not. Because then they would, tell, they would tell you the full truth if they were building his kingdom. They would tell you who you are. Most High, there's, watch, you're going to find out there's a lot of preachers the Most High did not send. You're going to find that out. There's a lot of preachers he did not send. Because they're still causing confusion. 
My role is to bring you to him to understand this, what I got to do. That's why you got people that's not really doing, they, they talk a lot, they're not really doing nothing. My role here, I talked to a sister today. Okay. Remember, if you're talking to somebody that don't know the most high or don't know the full truth, if you hurt their feeling, oh, well, oh, well, that is Messiah didn't apologize for what he was saying. Not one time. Abana didn't apologize. They tried to kill him. He said, I'm not apologizing to you, Nimrod. I'm not apologizing for destroying these gods. And they put him in the fire and the angels protected him. Not, no weapon formed against him shall prosper. All right. Bayete, Nkosi, Betuabu, and Sambalolo. Blessings be upon, may all of you have blessings be upon you. And may Tatanta and Zombie continue to guide you and help you in this time.